Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function phi. So in the given expression, the number of arbitrary function is 1, that is nothing but phi. So we are going to use the first order derivative, that is dou z by dou x, which is named as p, and dou z by dou y, which is named as q. Only these two to eliminate the arbitrary function. Let us take this as a first expression and we are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to x. So, dou z by dou x equal to phi derivatives phi dash and the inner function should be written as it is. And using chain rule, we have to find its derivative and write it as a product here, which is 3x square. And the second term, y cube is constant because we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So, other variables are treated as a constant. Now, this is p equal to phi dash of x cube minus y cube into 3x square. Let us keep this as a second expression. Now in the same way, once again take the first expression, differentiate that partially with respect to y. So, dou z by dou y equal to phi derivatives phi dash and the inner function is written as it is. Using chain rule, we have to find its derivative of the inner function and write it as a product here that will give minus 3y square x is treated as a constant because we are doing partial derivative with respect to y. Only the y term we have to differentiate which is minus 3y square and this is named as q and this is phi dash of x cube minus y cube into minus 3y square. This is taken as third expression. Now second expression is divided by third expression. So, on the left hand side we have p by q and on the right hand side both the phi dash term gets cancelled, 3 also gets cancelled. So, remaining is x square and here it is minus y square. By cross multiplying we get minus y square p equal to x square q and we have to give the answer in the form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to r. So, taking this to the other side, we get y square p then plus x square q and on the other side it is 0. So, this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary function phi.